Hey guys, this is Srini and in this video let's cover a topic that a few of you actually requested for and this is how to compare uh, two images in a quantifiable way, right? I mean, in the past I made videos on key points and descriptors, but the question is how do we quantify? Is this image like 34% uh, or what value can we give to consistently compare a couple of images, okay? For that, I'm gonna use uh, SIFT or ORB and uh, SSIM metrics, okay? If you know what they are, then obviously go ahead and watch other videos of mine. But if you really would like to learn a bit more about how are we quickly implementing this with a few lines of code? Just go ahead and watch this video. I promise to not make this very long, okay? So it's worth your time. So let's jump into the code and uh, get to it. Okay, so uh, here we have these few lines. Again, as usual, I'm going to share this file with you. Look for the description. Uh, you know, you'll find the GitHub link and uh, you can download this and all other, uh, you know, code of mine that I've generated as part of this video tutorial. So please do subscribe, okay? Uh, okay, so here, uh, let's define the problem. I have a couple of images, okay? The same images you saw on the opening screen. I have, for example, this warped monkey and then this rotated monkey images. And if I wanna compare these two, like what is the quantitative value? And later on, again, I'll also open a few other images like scientific images. I have a very nice scanning electron microscope image here, backscattered image, and here is uh, artificially added noise, but pretty much the same image. So what type of values do we expect using exactly the same approach, right? Now we can say, okay, this is what percentage are these images similar? And of course, uh, I have another image that's completely resized and blurred. Now we'll see, you know, what type of values can we actually expect. Okay, so this is uh, this is the goal, and in fact, I also have another image that's completely different uh, compared to everything else. So uh, again, so this is the plan. Okay, so uh, one of the metrics, there are many metrics that claim to compare these. Uh, well, I shouldn't say claim, but that does, uh, you know, try, uh, try to compare. Uh, features or different images, but the ones I uh, totally rely on are two. One is structural similarity. This is part of scikit image metrics. Go ahead and look at the documentation. Again, uh, this is not a tutorial about structural similarity, so we're not going to cover the uh, you know math side of it. Uh, but uh, this is one of the ones that I'm going to use, and the other one is open uh, in OpenCV. We have a ARB uh, key point descriptor. Uh, it used to be SIFT. I mean, I used to use SIFT quite a bit, but uh, they pulled it in OpenCV2. You don't have it, uh, you know, available anymore, I guess, because the original authors don't want it to give it away for free for whatever reason, not blaming them, but uh, it's not available anymore, okay? So what we are going to do is uh, ORB, O-R-B, which is a key point, uh, you know, locator and descriptor, right? I mean, it tells us, hey, these points are similar in these two images and they tell us exactly where the locations are and also describes them. And please watch my video on these, this specific topic where I talked about homography and uh, uh, other stuff, but let's get back here. So ORB is going to give us the key points and uh, describes them, it also describes them. So uh, I create a function right here so I can apply it on multiple images, right, later on. So all it's doing is from OpenCV, we are creating an object for ORB and uh, I'm going to apply that and detect and compute on my image number one, which I'm going to supply pretty soon, and image number two, right? So I have key points and descriptors corresponding to each image. Very simple, this simple. And then once I have the key points and descriptors, now I am going to perform a brute force matcher, okay? Again, if none of these make sense, you really have to go back and read a bit of documentation about brute force matching and uh, uh, key point descriptors, but to use this, it's very simple, okay? So now we are defining a brute force matcher object now, okay? Remember, we defined an ARB object and we applied that onto our images. Now I'm going to define a brute force matcher and then I'm going to do something with this key point in a second, okay? So the brute force uh, matcher is going to be applied onto our descriptor A and descriptor B. Descriptor A and descriptor B, right? Uh, I'm not just looking at key points. I don't care about key points because now I want to see if the Im uh, images are similar. So I'm only looking at the descriptors corresponding to those key points, okay? And I'm going to match them. So that's what brute force matcher is. And what it gives you is, uh, uh, it's almost like a similarity numbers. And uh, if, the, if the number is 
basically the range goes from 0 to 100 okay I believe 0 is perfect match and 100 is like not similar uh, in, in, in these matches so very good matches have like lower values so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to extract similar regions where I set a threshold of what I call acceptable similarity so in this case I just say okay show me all the matches where the distance within my match dot distance okay is less than 50 it's, it's just 50 because it's halfway between 0 to 100 it's up to you what you want to choose and uh, 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 that's that's it after that to quantify that into a similarity value all I'm trying to uh, do here is look at how uh, how many of these regions follow this criteria of distance less than 50 divide that by the total number of matches right if I have only 20 of them below this threshold of 50 and I have total 100 of these then I have a 20% match between these two that's it that's that's pretty much it so this is using ORB descriptor okay and then uh, structural, structural similarity is going to give you a number, okay? Uh, again, look at the documentation for structure, structural similarity, but uh, the only thing with this is both images need to be of same dimensions, so you have to resize it if you're trying to compare images that are of different dimensions. But otherwise, structural similarity, again, it's uh, returning your similarity and uh, uh, difference, and structural similarity, again, very simple, just your reference image or image one and image two and uh, uh, similarity index okay uh, right there so uh, once we we just established what we are trying to do now let's define two images these two images are the monkey distorted and rotated so all I'm doing is just go ahead and reading uh, sorry I should run this entire entire code okay all the way up to this so now that we define our functions we just need to apply the functions onto our images so we need to read these two images these are the monkey images so let's start with them and they both are uh, same size and now orb similarity is we just define the function I just need to provide these two uh, images as inputs and let's go ahead and print out what it tells us so it's saying that the orb similarity is 0 0.36 you can think of this as 36 percent if you just uh, not change this 50 by the way if I change this to I don't know uh, 80 for example then uh, let's run everything up to this point right then obviously the value is going to go up right so now my similarity is 99 percent between these two images so now it's it's it comes down to you what your application is what you think is the right cutoff value is here all I'm showing you is how to set this and it comes down to you uh, you know uh, defining your your uh, specific threshold there so let's get back to 50 that's a comfortable point for me and we looked at orb similarity let's do this one more time okay and then after this let's look at structural similarity okay 36 percent now structural similarity it's just uh, 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 let's not resize because these images are of same size in this case structural similarity uh, again we already imported the library so it's given me 0 0.187 okay uh, of course it's not going to be same as orb this is a completely different process but now you know at least a couple of ways to check this similarity let's go ahead and run these uh, all of these load all of these images and these are the ones I just showed you right the noisy uh, so image one versus so let's go ahead and do image one versus image one same image are they similar obviously they should be if you do that your orb similarity is one that means hundred percent okay now it gives you an idea of what the reference is and let's also look at structural similarity which should be uh, oh sorry I didn't change my image number so let's go ahead and do image one and image one and uh, structural similarity should be also one okay because we are doing exactly the same image now uh, the same image versus the noisy image okay so now we are just doing this let's run all these lines so um, for orb I'm getting 80 percent and uh, SSIM I keep calling 80 percent a value of 0.8 and uh, for structural similarity I'm getting a value of 0 0.24 that kind of gives you an uh, idea of what the range is you know in general so structural similarity it completely went down from 1 to 
0.24 and the only difference between these two images is this one has about five sigma uh, noise that's pretty much it now let's compare the smooth to one which is image number three i believe image one versus image three okay so let's do a couple more and then i think you'll have enough uh, information so let's run these again and uh, it says uh, as you can see input images must have same dimensions because my blurred image is much smaller than uh, the other images as you can see and the edges are crappy and everything okay so now let's go ahead and resize this image and let's run this one more time um, I thought I'm resizing it uh, image sorry resize image three I was resizing image four okay uh, third time is a charm so let's do that okay I think I'm uh, I have to focus here uh, resize uh, uh, image three and uh, oh my god too many things to change that's what happens when you don't write the code in an efficient way where you have to change the same thing multiple times okay so if this doesn't work out i don't know what okay so there you go so here it says uh, uh, similarity of orb is 30 uh, 0.33 but then the structural similarity is 60 0.65 so when i resize this it's it, 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 it's 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 just looking at the structural similarity right between these two so once we resize apparently it thinks uh it it's it's uh, similar so i if, if, if you're trying to follow this method i definitely recommend using these two parameters when you're looking at structural similarity maybe you want to take an average maybe you want to write another function to say if orb is this and if ssim is this then okay i want to say that this these are similar or now i leave it to you how to use these two but you can see how these two are kind of different they're looking at different aspects and they're giving you these uh, um, you know these these uh, numbers out there okay so i hope i hope this answers you guys questions that you left in under comments so if you have any such questions please do leave here unless uh, unless it's a humongous project for me if it is uh, relatively easy for me to explain i'll record a video for you otherwise i'll just leave like a comment or something but please do engage please do practice and uh, subscribe to my channel and thank you very much very much for watching these videos and let's meet again in the next video talking a different topic thank you